As you'll grow older, what are you beginning to detest? Professionalism in many contexts. It's so fake and vapid. I can't fucking stand it anymore. It all boils down to do what I say and don't ask questions. I never understood why we can just openly express who we are as people if our work is getting done. And our expression is considerate of other people. We show up to work half naked or dressed like a slob. But maybe the world would be a substantially better place if we didn't have to wear what we are. Told to have our hair how others want it to be, etc. You know what? I had an epiphany today. We need to be delusional. If we always see life for the bullshit that it is, life becomes a nightmare. That's why childhood was wonderful. We believe the lies, we took the blue pill, we were ignorant. So to answer your question, as I grow old I can spot bullshit a mile away. But everything is bullshit. So I'm always pissed. I'm always standoffish. Why don't I just pretend to believe the lie? It's a beautiful lie, isn't it? Anyways. TL Drive. I'm starting to detest life. Read it. Ironically, this will probably be a highly downvoted reply, but it is now very similar to Facebook. IMO. It's great that you can highly customize your experience. That when you only see things that you agree with it makes you dig your heels in deeper because you feel validated. Yes, there are functioning people who don't hold the exact same beliefs as you. The world went round for a long time before you and it'll go round a long time after you. Be kind, speak less, listen more. People, especially in the workplace, I've always been working with toxic, angry, and sad people who talk about their tumultuous lives and such. I worked with a young lady who constantly talked about killing herself and how she hated the job. This was an 18 year old saying this, it made me uncomfortable. She yelled at me for being lazy when I was experiencing complete burnout from overworking. Part of me wants to work from home. And so over people and their bullshit. Read it. Honesty kinda just the internet. There are like to maybe three subreddits that are keeping me here. Because I like interacting with the communities. But the moment they get start feeling like the rest of this place I'm dipping. Dishonorable mention to people who shit of other people's personal decisions. And for the love of fuck don't read that and say yeah. I hate those guys because this is Reddit there's like an 80 I'm talking about you. People who want to decide what you should believe in. Jehovah Witness, vegans and people with them political opinion. Don't get me wrong. I respect all of the above and their life choices. But what the fuck do they need to involve me in it for? If I wanted to believe in going to heaven or eating a cellar after voting for some dumb fuck, I would do it. And not because someone told me to. Actually manage to get myself worked up there. Sorry. Any kind of close-mindedness, look, I've been around long enough to know that sometimes we have wrong ideas. You have to accept new information and facts as it comes to you. Locking it out because it goes against something you learn to believe is completely asinine. Sometimes our beliefs are wrong, and we have to learn to accept that as new information comes in. Extra OB, short version no matter what we believe. Sometimes we are wrong. As people age, their perspectives and priorities can shift, leading to changes in what they value and what they may start to detest. Common examples might include intolerance for drama or negativity, impatience with superficiality, a dislike for wasting time on trivial matters or frustration with societal injustices. However, these feelings can vary greatly from person to person based on individual experiences and personal growth, metaphors, particular metaphors used in any media, whether it be traditional media or social media. Watch this liberal destroy this conservative in one sentence. Watch this conservative leave this liberal totally speechless. This new cup is everything and we're here for it. Dot stop. We've become so inundated with hyperbole that simple declarative statements sound underwhelming when they're simply accurate. The same things as always just more so. 1. Customer service I will die before going back to that. 2. Egotistical, patronizing bastards. 3. Leaving the house aka socializing. 4. People that hate dogs. Point 5. Our current CEO still a baby can't be a day over 35 but hey, he knows it all and he knows it better than those of us with 30 years in the industry. Thanks for asking. I feel so much better now. Hate. 
I am very obsessed about it to the point I spot it as soon as I can and avoid it. Hating something takes so much negative emotional energy to manifest and, and its outcome so terrible it's silly to hate anything no matter how big or small. It's useless. So even saying it as a simple phrase oh, I hate that. No, I don't. Not really. Why say it? Simply express how you really feel. Or say nothing. The internet. I lose so much time on my phone and computer reading meaningless stuff and watching stupid things that don't add anything to my life. I'm on a mission to get rid of my phone, but it's so hard to do. And on another note, I recommend stepping off social media for at least two weeks every X time. It's liberating trust. Kids teens mainly on the internet. I'm sorry, but they seem to expect the internet to treat them like adults except when they do something wrong or get called out and then suddenly they're literally children who don't know any better. Like, shit, I didn't realize basic responsibility for one's words actions was a brain function that developed on their 18th birthday. How hard it is to do easy things. Example right now I'm attempting to insert contact icons into my resume. It's taken me hours and I still can't get them to line up right with the text and I am about to tear my hair out. I took a desktop publishing class in 1997 where I learned to do it perfectly in like 10 seconds with a quarter of the tech. Very frustrating. Modern. Shareholder Uber Ales Capitalism. At least in the past, a company fought on the strength of its product service to build its reputation. Now it's minimum viable product. PR hype, stock price focus and buybacks. The only thing that has trickled down since the 1980s is that mindset as it seems that every company tries to emulate that management style. People who think that the opposing view is entirely morally wrong. If you support abortion, you just want to control women's bodies. If you're pro-gun, you want to kill kids. If you don't want to use pronouns of trans, then you'll hate trans people, etc. No room to consider the other side may not be evil or that you may be wrong yourself. People being passive-aggressive and not communicating their needs. I have no patience anymore for people who refuse to tell you if anything is wrong, but try to pull a silent treatment because you don't realize they're mad. One thing I love about getting older is how much easier it's gotten to cut shitty people out of my life. Misinformation. I'm not quite sure but I'm probably a know-it-all. I've got so many random facts stuffed in this brain of mine and I want to share it all, but it probably comes off as obnoxious sometimes. I also correct misinformation because I hate it so much, which contributes to that know-it-all vibe I think I may give. Political grifters. The monetization of social media has made it so that everyone on all sides of politics is incentivized to focus on bottom-tier sensationalist nonsense. Even relatively respected people clutter their feeds on social media up with absolute bollocks, designed to get engagement rather than it be correct. Morons who think they're smart. I wish they had enough sense to figure out why the people who did well in high school all disagree with them but the burnouts who failed pre-algebra all on their side. You didn't suddenly become an intelligent, critical thinker after high school. You're a gullible fool. Sleep. Or rather lack of it. Insomnia. Fantastic sleeper until 35 years old. Now it's a struggle to get more than five hours a night. And quite common to go multiple days in a row with three hours or less. I'm father of a two toddlers and the sole breadwinner. I really can't keep going on like this. Narcissists, they've always been around. But you could get away from them and ignore them. They just seem to be everywhere anymore. I feel very isolated and when I get into a social situation and find that no one around me is capable of making a human connection, it's even more isolating. Getting more and more misanthropic, fed up with tiresome, delusional people and their dishonesty, nonsense and bullshit. Life is too short to waste time on idiots and assholes. Work and the absurd self-importance that permeates the whole work environment again. Life is too short. I'm starting to hate the amount of information I receive every day. It's so overwhelming that I can't focus my attention. Every piece of information requires you to discern what's true and what's not. It's a mix of truth and falsehood, making it difficult to understand the world. Able the same dangerous. 
lying, opportunistic, authoritarian assholes that love the gullible electorate which can't resist falling prey to prejudice, fear, nationalism and isolation over and over hen. The sheer amount of incompetence the government has to repeatedly make horrible decisions that deviously affect my life. We as citizens are taking it up the ass. And until the next election we cannot do a damn thing to stop the massive train wreck our government is. YouTube Shorts Say my voice. Unnecessary repetitive background music for movie scenes. Subscribe if you think this was wholesome or if he she they deserved it. Common sense YouTubers who just end up coming off as dicks to some of the people they criticize. People thinking it's okay to randomly start recording taking pictures in public with you in the background without your consent for TikTok. Or those jokes I don't care if we public. You should still ask or warn people so they can get out of the way. Uninformed and uneducated people. I work in a school IT debt. None of my co-workers use any social media. It's such bullshit. A bunch of people bitching and moaning, trying to attract attention to themselves and spreading conspiracy theories and misinformation. The inevitable waking up to something probably hurting for no other reason than I no longer. Stupidly young and reasonably invincible. Literally woke up the other day from a nice sleep and had a strained shoulder. Like, come on. I'm not even 50 yet. I haven't started any new hatred in years, but I've really started to refine my contempt for professional sports. Organized religion and cheddar cheese made in Vermont. Get your shit together, Vermont. Your cheese is fucking embarrassing.